Hi guys, it's Fat Petrol Hat here and today I'm gonna make a small experiment. Is it possible to be fuel efficient with a big V8 engine? I have a 2013 Jeep Grand Cherokee with Hemi V8 5.7 engine. And to be honest, I cannot say that I'm satisfied with its fuel efficiency. The average fuel consumption on this car is about 19 liters per 100 kilometers. Or otherwise it is about 12.2 miles per gallon. This is a fuel consumption that I have let's say driving 50% of time around the city and 50% of time driving highways. However, I remember that I had a colleague that had an Audi A8 with V8 engine and he told me that it is all about driving style and he never had a fuel consumption over than 10 liters per 100 kilometers. So let's try to figure out is it possible to reach this fuel efficiency on the Jeep and yes of course I know that Audi should be more fuel efficient than Jeep but today I'm gonna drive about maybe 60% of time on the highway. By the way, 10 liters per 100 kilometers for my car is the official data of fuel consumption on the highway. So probably we wouldn't reach this result. However, let's try at least to minimize the fuel consumption on this car. So now I'm driving a highway, almost starting from the start of my trip, and I do it on a cruise control on about 100 kilometers per hour or 60 miles per hour. And my fuel consumption is very close to 10 liters per 100 kilometers. And yes, of course, I know that I can follow a truck driver to save more fuel. But let's be honest and let's be realistic, we all live in real world and you will never do it uh, when you drive yourself. So let's just try to drive as slow as it is possible to stay safe on the highway and also to save as much fuel as it is possible. And yes, we reached 10 liters per 100 kilometers that our car manufacturer promised us. By the way, of course, in this temperature I use AC and it is in auto mode and on 22 degrees. Just several roundabouts and we are out of our fuel consumption of 10 liters per 100 kilometers. Now it is already 10.6. So I believe that we can make a conclusion that in real life we cannot reach on this car this fuel efficiency like 10 liters per 100 kilometers. Yes, we can go driving uh, on the cruise control and have this consumption. However, in real life you have roundabouts even on the highways and also you have uh, places where you have to stop. And also, let's be honest with this fact, it's so fucking boring to save fuel. 